name is Ulf Ehlers and I'm from the University Duisburg Essen in Germany. I would like to introduce you to a new concept, open educational practices. Open educational practices become relevant because more and more resources for learning and teaching are freely available. MIT started with opening their archives of their lectures. Many other universities followed and today we have a wealth of resources available. Now we notice that introducing open educational resources in educational organizations changes things for learners, for teachers, for the management and the strategy of the educational organizations and also policy makers have open educational resource usage on their agenda to improve social inclusion and open access to educational opportunities. Let's have a look at open educational practices. Open educational practices are tools, content, frameworks. The use of freely available tools, like for example content management systems, like Edu Commons, or development tools like Connections, or social software like wikis and blogs, also learning management systems like for example Moodle or Sakai, those tools are freely available and can be used for open educational practices. Content is available in open educational resource databases, like for example the Open Courseware Initiative, Paris Tech, Japan Open Courseware Initiative, the Merlot Repository, or the Open Learn Initiative from the Open University UK. Frameworks help to create and share content. Frameworks sometimes, for example, help with the intellectual property rights, like Creative Commons. Frameworks can also be design principles, like the Carnegie Mellon University design principles for open content, or quality guidelines, which tell learners and teachers, creators and users, modifiers of content, how content can be shaped in a way that can, can be used efficiently for learning and teaching. Learners and educational professionals are using, creating and validating content. For educational professionals like teachers and professors, things are changing. They are no longer the content bearers only, but they are becoming educational artists. Rather than teaching and instructing, they help to validate learners and students. The management in educational institutions has an important job for opening educational practices. The management has to shape institutional policies which make content created by the institutional stakeholders and members relevant on the institutional level. They have to set the rules to create a culture of open sharing. And they can support with institution-wide initiatives the introduction of open educational practices. Policymakers can support open educational practices through national or EU-wide initiatives through introducing the new concepts into their policies and recognizing things which have been learned through the use of open curricula and open educational resources in a way that it becomes relevant for the labor market. Open educational practices is not just the use of digital learning resources which are freely available for educational purposes, but it is the use of open educational resources to improve educational experiences, to strive to make them better, of a better quality, and innovate the educational experience, the educational scenario. All stakeholders are involved and have to try to create a common scenario for opening educational practices for the benefit of all. Thank you very much.